Good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about the human resource frame of leadership in the Bullman and Deal leadership model. The purpose of this video is to help us understand the meaning of the human resource frame of leadership and how it is applied to the importance of school personnel. Now, according to Bullman and Dill, the human resource framework deals with the people within an organization and the valuable resource that the humans are, humans are within that organization. One key element of the framework is a group of people working together as a team to reach the goal. Um, within, the, within the school, that team is comprised of many people with a variety of skills and talents. Each member of a school staff is an important resource to help all students succeed. So how does this look in the hierarchical structure of a school? Who is at the top of the leadership pyramid and how important are the people our kids interact with at the school? Now, while some people may be able to see the school personnel as a list of people that goes from the most important people at the top to the least important people at the bottom, I see it more as a circle with each person being as important to student success as the next. Bear with me and let me explain my reasoning. Um, if I were to put this in the list, I think most of us would probably put principal at the, at the top. But in my way of thinking, I normally wouldn't put myself at the top, and I would put myself, if I had to put myself on a list as a principal, it would be at the bottom um, of the list, because the title of principal does not make one more important than anyone else. But I guess the leader could be seen at the top of the importance chain because the leader is the person others will count on for guidance. Um, but with my way of thinking, the principal is just as important and equally as important as everybody else. Um, to me, actually, if this was going to be a list instead of a circle, the students are actually at the top of the importance chain because, after all, they're the reason we're all here, right? It is important that all persons involved in the school are focused on supporting the student in their roads to success. Also within this leadership circle are the parents in the com community, which I'm going to include the alumni as well as part of the community. Uh, this group comes after the students and um, together because they are the because the success of the school depends on the support of the parents and the community. Sure, we can graduate students who have less than stellar home lives, but without com community and parental support, our jobs become even harder. Now, teachers, paraprofessionals, cooks, and maintenance personnel and office staff I absolutely cannot separate this group because each person in this in these groups is essential to the success of a student, especially in a brick and mortar school. As an online teacher, I could possibly eliminate cooks and maintenance staff because, well, we don't feed our students and we don't have a physical location to maintain. But in a physical school building, they are just as important as the teachers and other staff members in the building. Um, the teachers may be considered more important than the support staff, but without paras, cooks, and maintenance personnel and office staff, teachers could not do their jobs to the, to the degree needed to ensure student success. I have worked with amazing paraprofessionals that made my job as a teacher so much easier. They not only helped the students they were assigned that were assigned to them, but they were there to support all of my students. Um, I saw my parents my paras as equals in my classroom. Uh, they were my co-teachers, they were my support staff, they were everything that I needed to make my classroom run efficiently. Um, the cooks of, of the school, they keep our kids fed and that's a tough, tough job considering the food options they, they have to feed our kids. Um, but despite the challenges and often the lack of respect, the cooks are there every day to make sure our kids are eating something. And we all know you can't learn on an empty stomach. I don't know about most teachers, but in my experience, there is no way I could have survived without the support of the office staff. They were an invaluable resource of information about students and school resources, and they often handled the mundane tasks of organization and data collection that teachers did not have time to do. And last, but certainly not least, the maintenance personnel are key to keeping the learning environment safe and functioning. How can students learn in a building that's not maintained? The answer is they can't. The maintenance personnel are there day and night, making sure students are going to school in a safe building that has worked, that has working restrooms and heating and air conditioning and water fountains. 
um, they are the ones that follow behind the students cleaning up the messes that they leave behind. So there's absolutely no way I could put um, all of these different people on, on a list of people from the most important to the least important because we're all equally important. Often we look at the important people in the school as the principal and teachers, but in truth we are all equally important to the success of our students. We must work together as equals towards the goal of creating successful students. From the moment a student walks in the door of the school until they leave at the end of the day, everyone working in the school is key to ensuring every student is prepared to learn and is learning to the best of his or her ability. Removing any one component of the school staff could derail a student's success. Only as a team of equals do we create an environment where student success is the number one priority.